have the latest on this breaking news throughout the morning. Most of you will return now to the Today Show. I'm Savannah Guthrie alongside Hoda Kotb. This has been an NBC News special report on the passing of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, at the age of 99. Good morning, I'm Joe Fryer. Once again, the royal family announcing this morning that Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth, died at the age of 99, just two months shy of his 100th birthday. The palace says that he passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle and that they joined the world in mourning his loss. We know he did spend a few weeks this year in the hospital. He first went there for an infection, then had a procedure for a pre-existing heart condition, but he did leave the hospital and return home last month. Now, we know that he first married Queen Elizabeth, then Princess Elizabeth back in 1947. Then five years later, she became the queen, and he has been her friend and advisor throughout for more than 70 years. We're going to continue our coverage this morning by joining our sister network, Sky News. And he was there as grandfather, supporting his grandsons. Also, there were other moments, for example, Prince Edward at, at times found it difficult to, to settle into a role that he wanted to, to take on, a, 